Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you how I made this stove cover. So first I went ahead and measured um, my stove so I can cut my wood down. And I measured it to 29 and a half inches. The wood I'm using is actually 35 inches long. I got six pieces of this wood. It's just pine wood. And I got it from Lowe's. They were like $3, $2 and some change. And um, they was originally 35 inches long. And like I said, I'm going to cut them down 29 and a half inches to fit my stove. Next, I went ahead and just laid everything on my stove to make sure it was going to be placed the way I wanted it to. Then I was trying to show you the size of this wood, but this wood was um, 26 inches long. And I actually used these to make my shutters on another video. And they are like a dollar and some change from Lowe's. And I'm going to cut them down like I did the other ones. I cut them down to 21 inches long. Next, I am going to go ahead and glue this wood together. So only thing I'm using, you can use, um, what is it, wood glue, but I don't have all that stuff around. I don't buy wood glue because I do just simple crafts and stuff. So if you're somebody like me, you can use E6000 and your hot glue gun and it works great. So once that was done, I went ahead and just sanded my wood down with everything. And then I'm going to place, be placing the other pieces of wood to the side of the stove cover. And I'm be using E6000 in my hot glue to do this too. So next I'm going to go ahead and apply some wood stain. I just use a dark one, walnut wood stain. Now when you're doing, if you decide to do this, you want to be careful with how much glue you use. Because if you see the light spots on the wood, that is actually the glue. You want the stain to be on the wood and not on the glue. So when you're gluing this, just don't use too much glue. Or make sure you rub your glue in. So I had to go back after like the video. As I got done staining this off camera and I had to sand down those spots just to just so the wood glue would stain the spots that them light spots you see.
and I also did stain the back. So next, I'm going to take this hardware I got from Lowe's. It was a dollar ninety eight cent each, and I got two. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark where I want my um, hardware to be placed. And I'm just going to screw it to the wood. Now, you do not have to use your um, drill if you was to do this because this wood is really soft. If you was to use a drill, it could probably crack the wood. So, you just need to take a screwdriver and screw this, the handles on. You don't need a screw, a drill, a drill. Because, like I said, it will crack the wood. So then I made this with my Cricut machine. It says B, which is my last name, Brown. And it says established in the year that I got married. And you can do a stencil. You can do vinyl if you have a Cricut machine. You also can um, do like hand paint or draw. I can't do none of that. So that's why I'm using, well, that's why I made a, a sticker with my Cricut machine. And that is it. This is how it turned out. I think it turned out really nice. I seen these on Pinterest, and they're pretty high. I think I seen one start at thirty five dollars and go all the way up to like a hundred, and I see some higher than that. And I made this for no more than twenty five dollars, and I think it turned out really cute. And that's it. So if you enjoy this video, I would love if you get this video a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel and you're watching this video, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. And also notification bell so you will not miss out on any videos that I upload. Thank you for watching and bye.